Hey, 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 everybody. I wanted to just come on here and talk about something that um, I experienced this week as a nursing instructor. And um, one of the things that I saw or I see a lot of times in my students is that they want to project their issues on to me. And so I have decided that it's time that I talk about personal accountability. Thank you for ever watching um, Share This. And um, one of the things we got to stop doing is a lot of times we don't realize it. I'm guilty of it too. It's putting our stuff on somebody else. Um, we've got to take more accountability. And a lot of times we do it out of fear, uh, fear of outcomes, um, specific to nursing education. A lot of times it's with tests that people are afraid. So I'm going to give time for people to log in and then we'll go more into detail. If you are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram um, at I am nursing success. Um, you can visit my our webpage or in rakisha.com. I'm actually working today as a registered nurse in a long term care setting. So, um, not only do I do education, but I still like to keep my skills active by, you know, working part time, which is one of the great things about nursing. So, I'm going to share this a little bit with people. Those that log in, share this video. I can hear you or see you all as you come in. So um, please, please, please share it. Keep on um, logging in, y'all. Okay, so I'm back. Hey, whoever's here, thank you for logging in. Um, I think you just logged back out, but it's okay. We're going to keep going. So talking today about projection. So what is projection anyway? Projection is, it's number one, a coping mechanism. And these are one of those coping mechanisms that you will have to learn as a part of therapeutic communication in nursing school. So one of the things I want to talk about is learning to take accountability, um, when, even when you don't want to, even when it's not comfortable, because growth is has to be intentional, and growth a lot of times is not comfortable. And accountability sometimes in nursing school is one of those things that people don't like to do, but it's good for you. So, for instance, if you fail the test, don't get mad at the instructor, even though you may realistically be mad at your teacher. You get more flies with honey than you would ever get with vinegar. So be nice, be kind, be sweet to everybody. You know, this time right now, what we have with this, um, I don't even want to say the word, but coronavirus, everybody's like in a tizzy. And it's kind of like, you know, they say nurses and healthcare workers are like, oh, we do this every day because we do to a certain extent. Um, we have standard precautions. We treat everybody as ill. So one of the things you have to understand is that you have to look at yourself and look in the mirror. What am I doing that could um, be the cause of me having these struggles? Because nursing school is tough. It's it's time consuming. And a lot of times it's just not fun. It's not comfortable. Come on in, everybody. We're talking about projection. And um, 
you know, number one, that projection is a coping mechanism. And sometimes it's a defensive coping mechanism. Instead of saying, uh, one of the wonderful examples they like to use, you say, my teacher hates me. And instead, you're projecting what you feel in your own self about your teacher onto them. So again, projection is not a healthy coping mechanism. So just today, when you're going through your things, when you're studying, when you're out and about with people, take a moment to self-reflect and make sure you are being aware of what you're bringing to the table, the energy that you're bringing, the vibe that, you know, they say your vibe attracts your tribe. Check your vibe. Take a minute to see, am I the reason this could be going left? With studying, talk to your teacher after that test instead of attacking them during test review. You said and the book said, it's still not going to get you the results you want. I promise you. From one nursing instructor to you, talk kind to your instructors. Be nice because you're going to need your instructors. This was a quick nugget. I want to keep this video five minutes or less, but I went over a little bit. Visit rnrakeisha.com. Tell me in this video what you would like for me to post this week because guess what? I'm probably going to be at home a lot more because they're making everybody go remote. Um, pharmacology. Tell me how I can make um, dosage calc easier. Drips. Um, just tips to be successful. Just like I kind of thought this would be, you know, Stop projecting in 2020. Take accountability. It's nothing wrong with it. With anything, it's about growth. It's about being intentional. It's about what can I do to present my best self. And again, learning how to handle difficult things maybe in a better or more, you know, healthier way. This is Ari Rakisha. This is AriRakisha.com. Thank you all for logging in. Share this video. You got what it takes. Love you guys.